man in the mirror. You gotta be the change you want to see. You gotta be the change you want to see. Yeah. All right. You gotta be the change you want to see. Be the change you want to see. Change. We can change the world. We can change the world. We can change the world. I know that. Oh, it starts with you and me. We can change the world. Make it a better place, Jack. We can change the world. Change is not the business of the group, but the individual whose thoughts and actions deliver the difference. Inspired by Mandela's spirit to be the change, let us be his engineers, drivers, character, and personality. Start by doing the little things that gives character and personality. Because history never lies, it tells your story. History is shaped and defined by individual actions. Manila is not remembered for threats, but his courage and determination and actions too. Gandhi say in the change, and we as the 1873 Network say that change begins with me. See me talking to the man in the mirror. Right, 21 Tell minutes me. after 4 o'clock. Uh, you, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, you're still <laughs> enjoying. So yeah, we, we, we missed out on a conversation with Mr. M. So Mr. M got 10 out of 10. Um, Mr. M, <laughs> I think I need to go and listen to that interview that he did. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> no, thank you. It's, uh, it's not me. <laughs> but uh, it's the experience of another. It's experience of, yeah, so um, we're supposed to be in the show with uh, um, uh, Miss Venter, um, but unfortunately, for some reason, we couldn't connect, but Mr. M continued with the conversation, conversation. and he got 10 out of 10. So like, yeah. thing, he covered it up. <laughs> he covered it up very yeah. well, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, um, Angela, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? Uh, 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 good to see you on video there, eh? looking beautiful. <laughs> 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 you see, I, I know Angela doesn't want to be seen. Good to see you. I don't know, it's just I get a little bit shy, so that's okay. It's easier. When no, you there know. are people who thought you were Indian. <laughs> okay. I don't know whether we're going to be able to get Alan online this afternoon because he was at a conference earlier on today. Mm -hmm. um, a really interesting organization which takes sport into Africa. Um, they work with uh, about 120 NPOs. Um, mm -hmm. So if we don't manage to get him this afternoon, um, he can be brought on to another show at another time. Right. Okay, okay. but you, you are maybe we can round up what we discussed uh, because we're. Angela, we've been talking with uh, Wildfire International. Yeah. To say, okay, guys, how far, if you were the radio and you had to make an assessment mm -hmm. of 100 conversations, what would you say as radio? What, what is it what is in it for me? Then you look at the people who are there every day, like you, Wildfire International, serving the people. What is it that we can communicate to the world? Are these conversations important? Is it the conversations or the fellowship? Is so, it uh, okay? No, no, sorry, carry on. Yeah, so these are the questions that come up as radio. Okay. I'm just a highway. I don't remember 
how many people abuse me, use me to go where they want to go. But I remain there. If you come at midnight, I'll still be ready. If you come in the morning, I'll still be ready. Mm. Decide to do nothing, I'll still be ready. So this selfless ready, who speaks on its behalf? Um, so to answer your questions, um, I certainly think that radio has a significant role to play um, in terms of disseminating information and important information to people. Um, the feedback that I've had from a lot of the people who've been on this particular series has been very positive, um, in, in both in terms of their, in their engagement um, on the radio, as well as the series that we've been focusing on in terms of responsible citizenship. So um, I've had a very positive response from, in fact, I don't know that there's necessarily one, maybe two people who um, it's just not for them, as opposed to whether it was a good or not, good or bad experience. I think maybe their timing is not right, or um, it just doesn't align with who they are. So Certainly, I think that the platform in terms of engaging people around important messages, I mean, I think it's come up a number of times, particularly where the messages are positive. Um, you know, we see so much bad news in the newspapers. We hear so much bad press in the newspapers. And yet there's so much good that's going on um, around us. And there's so much that is positive. And the more we focus on the negative, the more negative we're going to get. The more we focus on the positive, the more positive we'll get. So for me, it's around how do we utilize the platform to engage people in conversations that are important for them, um, where they, not only in terms of the content that we're covering, but also in terms of um, having their voices heard. And I think Wildfire, you've picked up on this quite consistently throughout the conversations around about telling stories. Yes, I mean, uh, it's um, it's always storytelling and uh, how best do we capture some of these stories that are not uh, being told? Yeah, and it's, you know, I think it's it's a case of how do we utilize something like radio as leverage? Um, how do we, you know, and I don't know that I have the answers to that because it's not really in mm -hmm. my wheel. You know, learning is my space and... Um, you know, yes, is radio a conduit to allow uh, the dissemination of information and, and learning? Absolutely. Um, you know, I don't know what your stats are in terms of listenership and how many people engage in radio as a form of communication, whether, you know, the trends are going more and more to um, whether people are watching YouTube videos or they're watching, you know, watch parties on Facebook. Or, or what the case is, because I don't know those demographics and I don't know um, what those trends are. Um, I do know that video is becoming more and more popular. As right. So, mm. um, you know, those kind of, that kind of information is very much outside of my wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, I, I mean, uh, when you, you, you look at um, uh, the, the digital edge or the digital era that we are at, uh, I, I like the fact that uh, you mentioned the watch parties uh, the facebook extra okay i think we've lost angela there right um it's uh, 28 minutes after four i thought you were gonna finish that <laughs> no but we're, we're, you were we're, just looking at me blank because i was like <laughs> I, I thought we were at that level <laughs> where, Not we finish, yet. where we finish each other's sentences <laughs> oh no almost there <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I think we lost uh, Angela there, no, but I, I think uh, she touches on uh, something uh, really critical, Mr. M. That uh, in this uh, digital era that we are in, um, technology is really taking over with uh, Facebook, um, uh, Twitter, TikTok. Yes, uh, TikTok, uh, which I learned of yesterday, uh, which I didn't know that exists, and um, so there, there's a lot of avenues. That, okay. Boy, that's not coming from. Uh, I think it's Angela. Is it? Okay. Uh, okay. It, it was coming from Angela. All right. Okay. 
Uh-uh. 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 Uh-uh.
So we are inclusive. We are one. It doesn't mean Angela is alone. What she has done is just to show that if you can't measure, you can't manage. So each person counts. Every conversation counts. Every person has a different way of looking at the same things that you look at. And everybody has a story. And all we are saying, tell your story. Don't tell mine. Because I can tell mine through my works. I have no need to come to radio to threaten people that I can do this, I can do that. I can build that, I can build 10,000 when you can't even build five people. So why talk about 10,000 names when you have spoken to more than 500 or 1,000? And all we ask is, where are the 1,000 that you have spoken to, not the, two, the new names? So when we do that and go to corporates, we are going as black and white indivisible, living up to the promise of oneness. We are not going as Angela, as wildfire, we are going as one bank. And all we are saying, can we talk? Because we are there to allow people to talk and tell their story. Because if it's fake, it won't go far. It will save you. So radio will then have people who believe in storytelling. Full muted. I remember as a child the fascination that I had for radio in those days. And I mean, yeah, I'm a, I'm a lot grayer than most people. Um, but in those days, we never had television. And I remember sitting around the radio on a Friday night listening to, at the time, it was a program called Squad Cars. And how the stories conjured up so many vivid pictures and imagination because you couldn't see a picture you had to use your brain and use your imagination to actually connect with the story that was being told and you know just from a brain functioning point of view radio involves a lot more active brain functioning because you've got to use your imagination you can't just sit there and um, you know absorb passively like you would with a video and it's not to say that video is not important either that's not what I'm saying but the, you know, the point that you're making around radio is it has a different nuance and it has a different impact. You know, you, we laughingly said earlier on that people thought that, um, I was Indian because they haven't seen my face. Um, that just tells me people are using their imagination. And I just come back to what you said just now, Mr. Mourinho, and that is the fact that I can't tell anybody else's story other than my own. Other people can't tell my story, other, they can only tell their own. And that's part of the power of um, counter conversations and dialogues. There's still some problem here. Yeah, I'm trying to see if uh, it's coming from my ends. No, it's, it's coming from uh, Angela. Because now I've, I've put you on mute. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, what fire is on mute? Well, I'm on my, I'm talking to you off my phone. I don't know what, uh, where the sound is coming from. There's nothing in the background for me. Nothing, nothing at all. No. Okay. Uh, why don't you go out and come back? Right. Hello, Penny. Hmm. 
Good afternoon, Mr. Mukanairi, the prophet Obed Chafa Ashford Chikomo. Good afternoon. Are you following there? Is anyone following? Silence means you are not following. Can you? Yeah. yeah. Hello? Hello? There we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, you are back here. Yeah, yeah it, it seems to be now slight, slight. Yeah, no, that's, that's better. Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, you were saying? Um, I was just saying how radio conjures up the imagination. Um, and how when we're listening to sound as opposed to seeing visuals, just from a brain chemistry point of view, we're using our brains a whole lot more effectively when we're listening to radio than if we're watching television. Television is a lot more passive, whereas radio allows us to use our imaginations a whole lot more. So um, that's one of the big advantages of radio. But imagine we go to Heineken and say we want to build to just deal with the issue of uh, racism and the, the idea of racism and the power of diversity and we want to promote social cohesion mm -hmm. and we want to use this pilot that we started towards 10,000 when we reach 10,000 we are going to be in early stadium, 10,000 people. And we want to see how black we are, how white we are, how tall we are, how fat we are, how handsome we are, how pretty we are. If I was the CEO of Heineken, I would say let's part because I know where you are going. And I'm even willing to pay for Angela to be on air because she can't give up time for no return. Mm -hmm. She is the mobilizer, she's the catalyst. Then it means we create a legacy. Mm -hmm. But how many of us continue to do the same thing over and over again without introspection. Hmm. If wildfire was your brother or your son, he would tell you that I have my list, mom or aunt, and now I've reached 1,000. You are only talking of 120. You know how many people wildfire has interviewed in the name of 1873? I'm sure it's very, very many. But if you, ask him, if you ask him, where are those names? Where are those podcasts? He'll tell you it's somebody else's business. Then Angela comes every day. She's talking about responsible citizenship. And responsible citizenship starts at home. If this is our home, and we are all not honest to each other, we will ask people to come to a home that we don't live. So we have to have our own standards, our own passion. That we need to build this bank because in building it, we will discover how complex human beings are and how to bring them on air. It's not easy. Mm. Some say, I don't want to be on air. But if they listen to this conversation, they may change their view about being on air. Well, I think two things happened for me through today. We're, all, we're on, well, this is 112. Um, 
interview number or discussion number 112. And I think two things happened for me. First off is that I started with people that I knew. Um, so I never mm -hmm. had that reaction at all. Um, the second thing that happened was that probably around about day, because we've been doing this Monday to Friday, probably around about day 40-ish, around about there, people then started referring colleagues of theirs into the space as well. So funny enough, I never had any one person say to me they didn't want to be on radio, not one out of the 104 odd people that I've had, because we've had quite a number of dialogues just with me or John. But imagine... Imagine, Angela, you had done the wrong thing in the phone. You are no different from starting again. Mm. But whatever you do, it will show by other people saying you might go. You know how many people are talking about you at dinner tables at breakfast? And you are not there. And that's the positivity of doing something. It touches on others, not you. To you, you are just doing what you do best. To others, it actually means my voice was on air. Uh, Angela seems to be frozen. Eh? Mm, well, yes, uh, yeah, she seemed to, to, to have a frozen video there. Yeah, you can see that uh, she's uh, looking the wrong side. So there's something. She's <laughs> 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 looking the wrong side. <laughs> the wrong direction. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. And what you pick up, uh, Prezi? Pardon? What you pick up from the conversation? Okay, uh, what you say based on on the on the digital um, changing and stuff like that, mm. and I believe that radio will always be there regardless, mm. you know, because of radio is made for listeners, okay. and even with the uh, improvement in cars and stuff like that, you still find radio, which tells us that actually it's always going to be there. Mm -hmm. There there is going to be changes, of course. You see TikTok, Snapchat, but. I truly believe that radio is still going to be there for years to come. Is it? Yes. Oh, okay. Awesome stuff. All right. So, Zakali Mabasu, good afternoon, my brother. How you doing? <laughs> good to see you there. Uh, you, you caught the joke, eh? <laughs> I guess everyone is, is laughing at the looking at the wrong side joke. <laughs> oh, okay. It's looking. Okay. All right. All right. It's so the. Yes. So if you if you were to write a story today, okay, yeah, we thought you were you were hijacked or ampu or somebody played some games on you. You are the only white person, so we we said there must be a reason. <laughs> Hello. Hello. The the internet, the internet loves me. Yeah, the internet loves you. Uh, yeah, how, how are you? Um, yeah. Okay, so, so, the so are, I mean, uh, uh, Angela. Um, they quiet. Me. Yeah. No, no, we. We were talking about uh, uh, targeting a white person on air. So we said, uh, look, uh, only the blacks are talking. So. <laughs> so she's, uh, I think she's got a network problem. Yeah, that's a, that's a network issue. Um, I think she's, uh, and also, I think also the, the, the weather outside is contributing. It's about to rain, so might be affecting the network. Okay, I hear it yes. stopped raining, but you never know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, probably just started there. This that, yeah. Yeah, you never know with these with these but, with these rains. So did you learn something about what we are talking about? I'm back again. Hello?
can you hear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, Angela, you've got uh, video issue. Uh, you've got network issues. Uh, we can not hear you there, but uh, yeah, thank you. Hello? I don't think she heard that. Mm, okay. Hello? Hello, I can hear you. Yeah, no, she's uh, you know, she's struggling with the with the video. Okay. Is she using the Wi-Fi or the data? I'm not sure. Yeah, because that may also contribute. It might not be the weather. It might be that. Okay, all right, let's see. Hello? Yes, we can hear you now. All right, so yeah. I think she's struggling to get in. Yeah, no, she's, um, I think it's a network issue. So yeah, we, we, will, we, will, we will let it go. Yeah. I think uh, she'd, uh, she, she'd shared so much though. Um, I think um, there's, so I think that, let's, yeah. let's try to build our own list. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's us uh, take this seriously because she can't be the only one with uh, a list. And the people who are talking of 10,000 don't have a list. Mm -hmm. So if you say the people I've interviewed, say, let me get... Uh, Work overnight so that I don't embarrass myself because I can't ask other people to put a list and I don't have mine. So it starts with me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what uh, what uh, what your partner is saying. Pressy. <laughs> well, I always keep a record of everything that I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you always take notes and yeah, yeah. I like I have my own list of people I interview in school, so yeah. I, from first year I still remember. I don't know about you, what like. No, I've got my list. You do? <laughs> I've, but got my black, I've, when... I've, got, I've got my black book. <laughs> oh no, I would like to see that because I'm. <laughs> but well, if we don't take that seriously, then no change will happen. No, no. I mean, I've got my list. It, no, no, it, if it was day uh, wildfire, we would have it. <laughs> Everybody would have it. <laughs> I've got my list. No, no, but <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't, it's one thing to say, I don't have it, I want to create one. Do you or you? Yeah, no, I do have a list. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm saying if you have it, it will show. You see, there's nothing to say I'm pregnant and I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're pregnant, you're pregnant. <laughs> yeah, if you got a list, it will, you'll be proud of the, your list. Like uh, Angela is proud of being 110, but you are more than 110. But Angela, if I ask her, where is Wildfire's list? She doesn't know. And that leads to doubt. That leads to darkness, that you are saying I must do something you are not doing. I would rather be 10% of an elephant than 100% of an ant. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> Me neither. 10% of an elephant. <laughs> oh, a lot of thought. <laughs> <laughs> so let us uh, uh, acknowledge where we are not going right because you never build a movement if the person who is building it is faking it. Yeah. If you believe in prostitution, you never be married. But the prostitute can give you a list. 
And those who don't pay, <laughs> she will know. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a small little book. But imagine you go back to the same person who has not paid you before. So let's take it serious, Angela. It's a serious in corporates. So they, all these people, they have chances. They're doing something they believe in. They got passion. And if we don't have passion, the radio is not the right place. Because you have the power to process 24-7. So that I can just do my 15 minutes and I'm done. And I continue with my life. Yep. And others will then, because anything that is for free, it's for the people who are free. Freedom is not free. Very expensive. So every time I thank someone for generosity, I know I'm taxing that person. Because God was generous to give life and the rest is work. Not faith alone. Faith without good works is dead. Dead. And you don't need a prophet to tell you that that are measured by what I do. Mm. And I must show the numbers myself. And if it's not there, somebody is suffering because of the choices I make. So if I choose not to create a list, somebody's paying for the darkness that is created. Imagine I have to come here to talk about this. That's how painful it is. Imagine I pay for the road, then I have to drive on the same road. There's something wrong. So let's build something that we all can say, I did 2%. I did 5%, and then we move. 5% plus 5% plus 1%, it adds up. 10,000 will be like tomorrow. Some people will be encouraged. If you can do 120, Angela, I can did, I can did it. So, Penny, are you going to write a story about Angela, this woman? Yeah. So, what will be your headline? I can't hear you. Uh, what will be, can you, will you write a story about Angela and what will be your headline? Of course, I would write a story about her because um, I find that is really inspiring. So, what will be the headline? What did you say? You can't hear. No, I think my thing is a little bit broken or something. Oh, is it? What will be the headline? What will be the headline on the story? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Let me Thank give you pointers. It must be sexy. <laughs> it must be provocative. It must be igniting. It must be inspiring without appearing as if Angela has paid you to say good things about you. <laughs> can you do that? Yes, sir, I can do that. Okay, so we are looking for your headline. What should or would be the headline? Mr. 
still have to think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So if you are thinking about something, then you are zero. I don't know why, for some reason, the headline is always something that I leave for last. No, think about the destination before you start a journey. What do you think should be the summary of what we have discussed today? Well, if I have, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if I have to write a story about Angela, uh, probably um, speak about how our, she um, take responsibility. Okay. So that would be a nice headline. Angela takes responsibility and. Why is she threatening us? What has she done lately? <laughs> Do you see how difficult it is to write stories about other people? So if I were to write a story, I would write a story about how one small thing becomes big in doing. How you cannot be 112 without 111 people. And I can't just start from air and say, I'm 500 without the 499. So Angela has shown the journey towards the 10,000. And it's just one person at a time. One person at a time, when you reach 40, that I learned that when she reached 40, uh, not 40 the age, but then the climb, the gradient was no longer as steep as it was from day one. That other people began to help be a cheerleader to finish the journey. And when she finishes the 120, she doesn't know what to do with her time. <laughs> I've got lots to do. <laughs> she, no, no, I'm thinking you, you'll be there just saying, let me wake up in the morning at 8 o'clock and there's nothing to do. There's nothing to achieve. There's nothing to accomplish. Just, uh, just want to let everybody know that my phone may switch off because my back is okay. about to No problem. So we are going to get a story, and uh, Angela, if you were to have a headline yourself, what would you say? Because I know you are humble, so you won't say much about yourself. My headline would be one person at a time. Okay, says Angela, that you can't build a city without the individual. You can't build a house without an idea of what the house will look like. And the genius is in the individual. By engaging them one by one and knowing them one by one, I'm already converting connections into communities. Some are not my friends, my first friends, some are my second, third friends through other people. When I look at the 120, I take the store of 120, I can group them. And I may discover that what I call my friends are only five people. The rest are people who are in the 120. 
because of this or that reason. So who am I to decide who must be in, who must be out? Sometimes when I'm choosing people, I choose the people I think of our value without knowing that in the passage of time, those I thought were valueless are now valuable. If only I picked up the phone and say, come on air, then I'll discover that our life changes. That what I call poverty is not poverty. That the person I saw poor yesterday does not have to be poor today. So Angela is discovering the stations of people at a point in time. Someone she interviewed six weeks ago is dead already. But in my mind, I always think they are alive. until somebody tells me they are no more. So I can never know what I know. And the only way to keep alive is just by engaging. And radio becomes a friend because it helps you know, know the people I don't know. And those I know, I renew my knowledge of them. But on my own, I may think I know even the people I know, but I don't know them. So that is the banking on Africa's future to remind us not to bring pop stars so that it becomes a bank of pop stars. Just ordinary people ordinary stories and in those ordinary stories there are extraordinary stories until I provoke them they will remain ordinary and I may die thinking you are ordinary and until they are asked for they will be unheard that's right So that is the, uh, Angela, that's uh, uh, what you have done. And just thumbs up to Angela. It's a good title. Yeah, it is. I agree with you. That uh, Mr. Mawere said thumbs up. It's rare. And you know the thumbs it, up is our language, Mr. Mawere. Oh, well, it's, no, it's your... That's right. So now, why don't we use it? So your headline is thumbs up to Angela. Now there are people who talk, who threaten, but when you say prove it, it's another conversation. So let this be a lesson to all of us that let's live up to the promise. If we say 10,000, it means even Prem, you have a job to do, even to take your students to aid them that so that when we arrive at the mark, they will be youth and they won't say we're left behind by these old timers. Because Angela I mean that never old timers are always leaving them behind, eh? Yeah, you made old -timers timers always that, that Angela's list excludes these people. But at least Angela's list includes uh, the youngsters. I think we had matriculants, Angela, on the show, right? We we had about uh, three matriculants. No, you're already defending. I'm not defending. I'm just saying that on the list there were there were the there were the youths in in this but conversation. But where there's a conscious effort, we'll be marketing to the youth to say, "Come into the bank." So all I'm saying is. Uh, they may be there by accident. But let's create, let's be conscious. Let's go to students. 
let's go to those old timers. Go to the Middle Age and say, we want your name to be part of this conversation. And your story is your story. So, Prem, you, you have understood. Yeah. Get it. Hmm? That the end result will reflect the input. And some people will be left out. Uh, do we have somebody? Um, is there I'm someone? Gonna, yeah, we need to create a new link. Okay, who is that? Uh, we've got uh, Michael Holmes from Amstein. Okay. Yeah. All right. So just send me the name. All right. 